Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Dr. Crypto here with another CRO update and a Crypto.com update and a general crypto market update as well, as well as Bitcoin, not forgetting Bitcoin, obviously, because that is the leader of the crypto pack. So before I start, give us a like and give us a subscribe. You know, it's always much appreciated. If you hate what I'm doing and you don't like it, just give us a thumbs down because it helps out that algorithm out. It helps get the channel out there because at the moment, you know, Retail are not fully here yet, but when they come, yeah, it's going to be very interesting times ahead of us. But look at this on the yearly. It's looking pretty awesome. Look at that. You don't get this in the traditional markets. Bonk, 5,000% up. Omi, 6,000% up. Mark, 3,600. Jasmine, 479. I was going to say 4,000 then. Nia, 328. Pepe, 759. Floki, 455. And then as we go on the monthly as well, it's looking, yeah, looking pretty good again. Weekly, not so great at the moment for altcoins. Daily, yeah, a bit of a pullback. Hourly, yeah, a bit of a pullback again. And why is this? Because Bitcoin at the moment is just having a little bit of a pullback. And I said it in yesterday's video, you know, you get these pumps to the upside. You're going to get pullbacks as well. It's all healthy. And, you know, it's funny. We get these pullbacks a little bit. And straight away, the bears come out. We're going down to 40,000. We're going back down to 30. And so I've heard some people actually say we're going back down to 10,000. But anyway, here we are. Here we are. As we start getting the retail panicking, who's buying? Yeah, it's the whales. It's the institutions. They don't care. They're buying. They're buying at the moment. But let's check on CRO firstly. And firstly, we're slightly down at the moment on the month. We're down by about 10% on the month. On the uh, seven day, we're down about 1.69%. And on the day, on the hour, one day, it's yeah, 1.69%. So we're slightly down uh, in volume. We're down around about 17% at the moment, sitting at about 4.21 million. And what it is that I think with a lot of the altcoins, yes, you're getting the odd one pop, popping off. But obviously, Bitcoin's making been making some big moves. So what happens is, is basically a lot of liquidity goes into Bitcoin. So the alts take a little bit of a hit when it comes to that. And I think... Bitcoin, though it's having a little bit of a pullback at the moment, will be making itself way back up. But we'll get into that in just a while. But yeah, overall, you know, looking at CRO, it's just going to chopping sideways. We can look at the chart, look on the daily. Again, you know, relative strength index here. It's just it's just sideways, really. It's just in between. It's between 40 and 60%. It's not really doing anything major at all. Looking on the uh, Cypher B, again, just money, slight money flow coming out. But that, again, is what I'm saying with a lot of the altcoins. It's a lot of that money is being put into Bitcoin at the moment. But the altcoins will have their turn. Yes, you are getting some altcoins in terms of Bitcoin strength. I've been making some moves to the upside because at the moment you look at CRO Bitcoin, it's just we had that nice pump uh, back on 1st of March up to the upside and that took us to around about that 18 pence mark. But ever since, sideways lows, it's just been downward, downward, downward. Now, what I would like to see with uh, CRO and Bitcoin pair would be to get above this downward trend line, break the trend. That's what I'm after at the moment. And you can see here relative strength index. We're sort of slightly down. We're slightly red at the moment. So obviously we're finding a bottom here. So hopefully we're getting close to that bottom now to start to make a grind away back up to the upside. We can see on Cypher B, you know, regarding the Bitcoin pair, you know, because like I said, Bitcoin, you know, money's going into the Bitcoin, not the alts as much. So we can see this all the way from, you know, where it was about May time, that summer lulls, money's been flowing out. And we're starting to get a bit more. We're actually getting a little bit of hope here. We're getting a little bit of a curvature starting to push to the upside. We've got these green dots, which are fairly bullish, uh, in my opinion. And we can see here, every time we've had these two green dots, we've actually started to move up. I want Bitcoin to get uh, Bitcoin, a CRO, to get above this downward trend and break that trend to the upside. And it, to be honest with you, it will only take some good news. Sort of like the, like the, the app goes back live in South Korea. We know that had a bit of a delay. And also Crypto.com is able to put their exchange into Hong Kong as well. And we get some more positive news come through in terms of the Kronos ecosystem and also Crypto.com. It won't take much to get that back up above that. But obviously at the moment, on the on the uh, we're just basically just chopping sideways. That's the bottom line of it. Is with uh, with obviously on the Bitcoin pair dropping down a slightly as well. But obviously, or well, I want us to keep above this area here between these white lines here. I don't really want us to drop 
down to down back down to the lows what we had here which is around about that six and a half cent i don't want us to go down there we're just chopping around sideways at the moment we are on a little bit of a downtrend obviously on the bitcoin pairs but that's not surprising with what the strength of bitcoin but overall you know i'm still bullish cro sleeping giant in my opinion lots of things going on with the chronos ecosystem lots of things going on with crypto.com as well so it doesn't not going to take much for the you know, cro to make its uh, reappearance back up to that 18 pence mark here which was around about up around this area this was like again this was around from first of february all the way up till march uh, we made that move up to the upside so but alt season at the moment going on about cro and alts you know alts are not ready yet for that alt season it will come it's just about sitting on your hands, being patient. I think at the moment, a lot of the markets are just waiting to see what happens in terms of who's going to get in. Is it Harris or is it going to be Trump? Who knows? But I think the markets are just being very, very cautious at the moment. And uh, that. So, yeah, looking at that, it's, I feel like bullish still. I'm feeling really good. I always expect pullbacks. But they are, in my opinion, nothing I say on these financial advice. But any kind of big pullbacks that we have now is to me is buying opportunities if you've got the liquidity to buy to DCA. That's my opinion. That's my thoughts. So let's have a quick check on what's going on with the markets and Bitcoin. One thing I'm watching very, very, very carefully at the moment, and as we're getting close to that election as well, is the global liquidity cycle, because we know what's happening. Whoever gets in, it doesn't matter if it's Harris and it doesn't matter if it's Trump. We're going to get money printing coming in and the global liquidity is just starting. As we can see here, what has happened in the past, all the way from 1968, all the way up till today, we're starting to get that move to the upside. And that is when that liquidity will start to come into the markets, not just crypto, but in the markets in general. And this is one of the main charts that I look at, as well as people have said down here. This is what I'm watching for now. And it's starting to make moves to the upside. And this is what makes me really, really bullish, not just in the markets that I own, but also want to point out as well is what Quinton's put in. 2020 halving, Bitcoin was $182. One year later, $510. 2016 halving, Bitcoin, $661. One year later, $2,600. Dollars. 2020 halving, Bitcoin, $8,600. One year later, $58,000. 2024 halving, Bitcoin, sitting at $65,000. One year later, what is that going to be? Is that going to be $80,000, $100,000, $150,000? You know, and this is why you can look at the five minutes uh, at the hourly or the four hourly, and you see this pullback. But you've got to zoom out on the weekly, the monthly, and look at the bigger picture of what's been going on. You know, because at the end of the day, you look at the five minutes. I do that. I do this all the time. I look at the five minutes or look at the four hourly, and you see these big red candles, and you think, ah, oh, you know, blooming there. But you just got to zoom out, and I've had to learn this the hard way myself. It takes patience. You've got to sit on your hands sometimes and just wait for things to play out. It's like the altcoins at the moment. You've just got to be patient. They will have their turn at some point. We could get a black swan event. We could get a pullback just as the president's been elected. We might get a pullback. But the history has shown that that has occurred as well, as well as we've had moves to the upside. But, you know, overall, we can look at the crypto market in general, and we're seeing a market cap of $2.3 trillion at the moment. You know, so it's, it's Bitcoin's dominance has been rising, but obviously a lot of the alts have, have been falling against the Bitcoin pairing. But, but looking at Bitcoin, and this is looking on the weekly, we've created this massive inverted head and shoulders, which generally plays out to the upside. But also we've got like a cup and handle, which has been formed. And I've said this in many, many videos as well. And we're not even oversold or overbought. We're sort of slapping away between that medium of around about that 44 to 60% on relative strength index as well. But the money flows on the weekly, which is, makes me even more bullish, is actually inflows are coming in. And this is on the weekly. This is not on the five minute. This is on the weekly. And what I want to point out is as well, as looking at the uh, the election, I don't know if you can remember the election when Biden got in was on November the 3rd of 2020. And look what that melt up that we had on that point. But we had a Trump win. 
And again, look what happened. We had a big drop. So you've just got to be prepared for what happens. It's not always going to be, all right, Trump wins, we're going to go up. You know, there may well be a bit of a correction and then make a way up. Because you can see here, we had that massive correction, buying opportunity. Now, I'm not saying this is going to happen, but it's a probability. And also with the, you know, what happened in 20, it might be a probability that we just melt up. You know, so you've just got to be prepared for both scenarios. That's why I'm pointing this out, really. Just be prepared for both scenarios. In my opinion, if we did get a drop down to the downside, that's a DCA in opportunity because look what happened. Let's take away that COVID, what dropped in March of 2020, and we collapsed down. Look what happened there. We came back down, and then we melted up. Look what it was. We came back down all the way down to $2,000, $3,000, and then made our way back up to $14,000. Then we came down in bear market, then we dropped down in COVID, and then we started making our way up, and then the election in 2020 came back, and we melted up. So you just got to be prepared for all kinds of scenarios as well. But we can look on the daily uh, too, and obviously we've been in that massive bull flag. We're coming up to that area of resistance around that, getting close to that $70,000 mark. So expect, obviously, I was sort of expecting that we're going to get some sort of pullback, a retest. We could come back down to here, come... Uh, when the election happens and whoever gets in, we may have, like I said, like we did in 2016, and we had that drop. This could be the drop down to this area support here and then make our way back to the upside. And that will take us down to around about $64,500. So you just got to be prepared for that. But all these dips, in my opinion, are buying opportunity dips. That's what I'm looking at at the moment. Uh, you just got to be prepared, sit on your hands, be patient. That's all I say. Zoom out, do your research. This is a good opportunity now before everything does make a move to the big upside and starts melting up. You know, nothing's guaranteed. Everything that I say on here is just probabilities and I've looked at fundamentals. You know, things can very much change. Geopolitical reasons or whatever. We could drop down. We may just pump up. So it's all probability. So always do your research. This is an opportunity now, in my opinion, and I'm doing it now, is to work out where I want to take all the bags I've got. Where do I want to be taking profits as we start moving up to the upside? And if we do drop down, is this a DCA an opportunity? And may I may well buy a little bit more if I've got the fund spare to the one side. You know, everybody's very different. Everybody's in a very different situation. You know, some people do say, you know, some of the coins that I mentioned are crappy coins. But, you know, it is what it is. You get in every community. It is what it is. But just be careful out there. Just do your research. That's all I say. Take care. And I'll see you soon in the next video.